New tonight, imagine the shock of opening your electric bill and seeing that you owe $16,000. Well, for a woman in Pflugerville, the most frustrating part was actually proving it was a mistake. She reached out to us because she wasn't getting anywhere with the electric company. Here's what happened when KXAN's Candy Rodriguez started making calls. It was a bill. This is crazy. I was like, there's, there must be a mistake somehow. Kelly Brooks never expected. So it started at $16,080.42. And it wasn't just one, but three bills back to back. And the total just kept going up. Currently, today, it's at $16,363.80, counting late fees and anything else they want to throw in there. <laughs> Brooks, who moved into her one bedroom apartment in early February, says there's no way she would have used $16,000 worth of electricity in a matter of two weeks. Trying to adult, I feel like as soon as I left my mom's, you know, nest, life was like, bam, okay, we're gonna throw this at you. And I'm like, oh, uh, no. <laughs> The 24-year-old attempted to resolve the issue and contacted her electric company, Ambit Energy, which filed a high-usage dispute case and reached out to Encore Electric, a company Ambit works with to receive meter readings. But Brooke says she never got notified or updated during the process and says she was told that my electricity was not going to be cut off, my account was in protections. But when I showed up today, the power had been cut off. Without no one notifying me. Her power eventually came back on a few hours later. An Encore rep told me it was a mistake, calling it a clerical error. The company is still looking into what happened. Brooks is just thrilled the lights are back on. Now she's looking forward to... My first right bill since I've moved into my first apartment. In Pflugerville, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. Encore told us that they have contacted Ambit Energy to correct the issue. A representative also told us that they'll be reaching out to Brooks personally to apologize. And remember, we got her some help, all because she reached out to us. If you have a story, idea, or a tip, email it to us at report it at kxan.com. And for those of you who are new to the area, certain parts of Central Texas have more electric choices, contractors, and providers than others. That's due to deregulation that started back in 1999. The goal was to create a competitive energy market, but the legislature let municipally municipally owned utilities and co-ops to be exempt from deregulation at will. That's the reason Austin Energy and San Antonio's CPS Energy still exist the way they do.